Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the Nokia Expert site. Tonight I'm going to take a look with you at the new Documents to Go. Let me see if I can get that focus right here. The new Documents to Go um, editing and creation software for the Nokia N900 and uh, MAMO 5. So we have, uh, I've now installed it. Uh, there's a 30 day full trial, and there seems to be some confusion about getting the uh, the the code because if you'd had the previous um, I believe it was version 1.2 of the viewer that you had uh, purchased for like ten dollars you could get the uh, the upgrade to the full version for free and if you do have questions I recommend you contact the customer support um, they should be able to help you out so let's uh, once we do this we see we have sheet to go word to go and slideshow to go I'm going to start with slideshow to go because it's the easiest now, slideshow to go um, is currently has no editing capabilities. They have said that they will be providing this as a free update later. So what we have now is a viewer, same as what we've had before. So there's one there. I'll just tap on the the slideshow. This is a 14.2 meg slideshow. So there we go. There's one of my slideshows, and you can see there's some controls at the bottom for for finding stuff. And then you can email that, and then you can just bounce through the slides, and then you can pop into the full screen view as well. And you see when you switch to full screen view, you can easily uh, tap the slides on the side. There is no functions like tap and hold. There's s s outlines. We could view the outline. Notes. If we had any notes, I don't have notes in that particular one. You can save a copy, open, view the properties of that slideshow, things like that. No editing capabilities, but uh, a lot of other things are in there just to view and review, which is which is handy if you're traveling. You need to review a slideshow and practice it. That can be helpful. So that's the slideshow to go part. Now, if we jump into the the slide sheet to go, which is the word, which is the spreadsheet software, we now have open, and we can open existing one and new. So if I tap new, it opens up a new slide, a new uh, spreadsheet here. Let me just bounce back, go up to the top here. We have clear recent files about activate features and settings. If I tap on settings, format for new files, you do have two choices. You can use the Microsoft Office uh, 97 through 2004 um, formats or the new Office 2008, 2000, 2007, 2008. That's the uh, XLS. Uh, not XLS, it's the. Uh, it's the HTML, XML, it's the X, XML file. Excuse me, it's late, sorry. So uh, let's see, the last thing we had was activate features, and it tells me what version I have, which is the Premium Edition 2.0. So let me go ahead and open up an existing spreadsheet that I'd created before, and here we go. So this is the existing spreadsheet, same as if we created a new one. Over on the right, we have a toggle for full screen mode, on or off. There is no landscape if I pop it down. It's all portrait. Or it's all a landscape. There's no portrait, excuse me. So this documents to go software is similar to what we've seen on the iPhone as far as the icons and controls. If we tap the first one, most of these icons, if you tap them once, it opens up like a sub menu, right? So we have save, uh, and I believe save as right there. We tap on we're in a cell. If we tap the B, it gives us bold, italic, and underline for formatting. You can also tap formatting for the cell, right? So we have cell formatting, and we have fonts, sizes, bold, italic, underline. We have colors here. We have alignment. And if we tap on number, we can set the number formatting, right? There's general, currency, whatever kind of number format, and there's a sample. So we have cell and number formatting right there with that third icon over. The fourth one is alignment, right, and formatting of the number, which we just showed. So there's quick ways to jump to it. This jump by default to cell, the other one jumps by default to number. However, you can toggle within, within those as well. The next one over is a zoom level. Now, it shows over here, this 50%, if I tap, goes 150 and 200. There's three zoom levels on in the software. So let's stay at uh, 100%. Actually, there's four. So there's 50, 100, 150, and 200. I'll go back to 100. And this will stay there until you tap. It's a toggle, right, for the zoom. We also have a search, 
which works as a find and replace as well. And there's some different, uh, if you tap on settings, you can say what you want to search, the whole workbook or just the worksheet you're in. And then we have an uh, email icon. If you tap that, it'll set up the attachment to email it out. And then, oh, as I said, there's the full screen view. Now, it also supports multiple worksheets within a workbook. So we tap this, we can see the different sheets. We can jump to a sheet, and there we go. Okay. And then, when we're up here in a formula, let me find an empty cell. If I tap the FX, which is the function icon, we can see we have uh, some different if I tap all and just show you these. So there's there's a number of different functions that you see you can choose from. And then tap on that, enter it in there. It looks something like this. There's a sum, right? Now, let's jump over here. You tap on a, I don't know if you saw what I did there, but I tapped and held on this column. It says fit, hide, unhide, insert, or delete. Do the same thing if I tap on a row, hide, unhide, insert, and delete. Now. I don't know if I tap on the line in between. I'm trying to see if there's a way to uh, slide my columns over or not. And I don't see a, a column formatting, even if I'm trying to hit on that line there. Now if I tap in one cell, let me see if I press the shift. Yeah, so there we go. If I press the shift button on the keyboard, pretty much how it would work on, on you know Excel normally. You press your shift and then you go arrow right and left. You can check, you can select multiple cells and things like that. If we tap and hold, does it say anything? No. So we could tap on there, we could do a control copy, control paste, you know, the things that we normally would do. Um, there is no uh, charting that I can find in here. So you can access you can access the formatting from the top menu as well. But it's a pretty functional application actually, and if you're using um, if you're using Excel on the go, we had nothing before, and now we've got an editing that has some of the you know more common functions and uh, things that you're going to see in a uh, in an Excel software. If we tap on the cell, we can jump to the cell. So there you go. That's a look at the sheet to go. A very functional uh, spreadsheet program. It doesn't have charting, which most of them on mobile devices do not. However, it does have uh, pretty much everything you need to get going on uh, on the spreadsheets. So let me go back. I'll close without saving. I'm just goofing around there. Let me go to the Word to go. Okay. I would have liked to have seen a kind of a toggle in between, so once you're in the application, you can jump between the other ones. But here's Word to go. Okay, so now I ha now have uh, Word to go open, and we can see there's the same menus as, as Sheet to go. There's Open or New. Um, then up top, top menu as well. Settings, activate features. Tap on Settings. Again, it chooses uh, what format you want: the older Word or the newer Word. Uh, let's see. So let me go ahead and I'll just uh, I'll tap new for this. That's fine. And here we go. So there we have a new blank spreadsheet or blank sheet of paper. Again, we've got the full screen toggle there. Pretty much the same setup, right? So we've got the save, save as, we've got some bold, italic underline, we've got paragraph formatting. Tap that once, you can see there's different ways to line your paragraph. Left, justified, center, right, or justified both sides. We have A, which should be our text color. Okay. We've got another one that's the indents, indent in or indent out. We have the zoom again. Again, there's the 50%, 100, and 200. There is no 150 in, uh, in Word. There's 50, 100, and 200. Again, we have search. We have email. And let's see, we jump up top. We have some other formatting. We tap there. We have character formatting. You can have your font types. There's one, two, three, four font types. 
font sizes you can choose from bold italic underline highlight color we do the paragraph alignment right there so as you can see word is pretty basic um, I do not see like uh, list support so we wanted to create an outline or a bulleted list I don't see bulleted list and things like that let me just type and go back to an existing document This is something from work here. So response transmittal. Uh, that's not the one I wanted. Let's look at the reviewer guide. This is a more sizable document. As you can see here, let me untoggle that. Pictures and things like that can be embedded. Let me go in here. Now that's from an app from a an app or a document that we had before. Let me see if I'm in the document. Can I tap and hold to? I don't think you can insert pictures in the document. No, there's no insertion. And unfortunately, I don't see bulleted list and things like that as well. So um, so far, I'd have to say that the Sheet to go is a little bit more functional than the word um, word to go right now. I guess it will get you basics of uh, some word processing, but it's missing some of the document uh, formatting things I would like. It does have their intact technology, so word to go will retain the formats from the original source. However, you may not be able to completely edit that. So I'll have to look at that a little bit more. So that's a quick look at the Documents to Go Premium Suite. It's a free 30-day trial. Um, so if you have an N900 and you're interested in it, I highly recommend that everybody install it and give it a try for themselves. I'm not going to be able to show you everything about the documents you work with. So please do check that out and give it a whirl. Thanks for watching.